this one we are going to check out the progress of my Parachromis Multifasciatus. We do have Fry. I'm also going to show you quickly another little breeding project that I'm doing. So let's get right into it. I thought it was well worthy of filming this because this just helps me to capture their first spawn. This is the very first spawn that they've had. Um, they've gotten a good amount in the tank and actually at the same time I have pulled some as well. So I am going to grow some on for my benefit for now. I just want to see how they turn out, what they look like, so I'm going to grow a few on. But how beautiful are they? And they're still only a young pair, so I reckon the male's a good five and a half inches, female a little bit smaller. So, you know, they've still got some growing to go. And yeah, probably a fair few more spawns as well because when they get going these parachromis, well Central American cichlids on a whole really. Once they get going they just they don't stop do they? But I do think out of the whole, out of the whole parachromis family, I think in breeding dress these oh man these are unbelievable. Look at them. Oh they are stunning aren't they? Absolutely beautiful fish. So yeah pretty chuffed because obviously it's, they're quite rare and we picked up six of these about a year ago actually I think I think it was about 10 11 months ago from Wharf Aquatics and we grew this pair out of that group so yeah bumblebee cichlids yellow jacket cichlids you hear them call quite a few things but they are parachromis multifasciatus and if you've seen any of my other videos you'll know that they used to be the Frederick Stalli so yeah, I just call them para, I just call them Parachromis multifasciatus. To be honest, I don't. It's one fish that I don't really use the common name for for some reason. But yeah, look at that, absolutely beautiful. Let me just swing you around and show you the fry. So I have put some fry in this tank. This is if you, I did do a shot on this these new tanks that I bought. The four foot that was here before. The seal started coming away so I pulled it. I didn't want to take the risk and just wait for water all over my fish room so and it was just a dumping tank anyway. But yeah we've pulled some fish, we pulled some fry sorry and there's some rapache in there at the moment. My new plecos are in there as well so yeah we're just gonna feed them up to about six times a day and see how they do but like I said these are not available to anybody so at the moment I'm not planning on moving these on I need to see how they turn out and this is what's happening this is just more for my benefit at the moment because I want to see how the young turn out so we'll see how those young turn out and if they turn out well we will we will we will put them out we will make them available because again like I said to you this is not this is quite a rare fish in the UK yeah really chuffed with these loving them at the moment so like I said, I just think it was worthy of an update and I'll let you know. They'll probably pick these off. Well, they will pick these off over time. I mean, they've had it. I think they've been in there a couple of weeks with them. So they're doing quite well so far because they've still got a hell of a lot left. And actually for their first spawn, they have had, when you think all them in there, and the, you know, there's a big pile in that corner there and a big pile in that corner. They've had a really good amount. Just quickly, that other tank there, I, I keep panning past it, so for anyone that's interested, I have got a pair of Spillerys in there. I've never had a tank there before, so I decided to get another one of these and put a pair of Spillerys in there, but they are yet to spawn. So yeah, like I said, I just wanted to do an update on these because they are magnificent and I get the chance to log this journey as well. So yeah, really happy and we will go and wrap this one up now. Absolutely loving that pair of multifasciatus at the moment. Getting a lot of joy out of them to be honest. And yeah, the fish room's coming together now guys. I've got quite a few pairs together. There's, you know, there's gonna be the changes coming, like I said. It, you know, I did the video at Christmas and it's still ongoing, but it, it, I'm, you know, I've got a lot of things that are happening and I'll show you in due course, obviously. I'll try and get the videos up of updates. And yeah, I really, really appreciate you guys supporting me. Honestly, it means the world. And yeah, if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. And yeah, I think that's it, guys. I'm going to leave it there. 
and I'll see you all on the next one.